oh, 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 man supposed to know that now? <clears throat> if a woman come to me now and tell me, say, yo, she want to get married. Then me married, engage her within a, uh, um, say a month. A, a year then, because over a year. And then she said she don't want to engage for over two years. She want married. So what what, what she do? She had pushed the man for married her. And that she do. Yeah. Then the woman I got turned on and I said she never push him for married or him do it and way, way, way. That's basically yeah. rubbish. Right. So the fact that she was like, oh, I don't want to be engaged for more than a year, I do think that that was a bit of pressure out there, yeah? But even still, what I'm saying is, it's for the man to say yes or no. No, but if if the man did it with her now and him... <laughs> Dead with her for over a year now. At least some some love and some something. So woman not really love nobody in a bitch. Woman not really love nobody because if she did love the man, she'd have see fin pint where Emma come from. Emma try to give everything where she asked for to she. You understand? But then when she get it, she say, ah. Like, what the fuck? It's like the man shouldn't do it. Then when the man do it now, she gonna say, ah him do it. And she never put no farmer pressure towards the situation. It's wrong. I don't believe that. It's wrong. So I think the problem with a lot of men is they don't say what they want. They just follow behind what the woman wants and do everything what she wants and then get vexed when it's not what he wants. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Because at the same time she can say she told him through the relationship exactly what she wanted at no point really in that conversation did i hear him say what he wanted at the end of the day be it the man i got out the man i man i tried to do everything for the woman enough to try for please the woman saying, enough. it's all the time man always that. i try for please fucking woman and uh, woman when you please them now it's like you do the wrong thing you do the wrong thing when you try to please them. It's no point you try to please a woman because when you're done, she going to tell you that she never tell you to do this. Are you do it? What What the fuck? What, what kind of understanding is that? I don't understand that part. Of the woman them so mixed up now and don't know what really what they want. You understand? Because if you take time out and say, yo, boom, you going to do this. And gear that. Then she turn on and say she never force if we do it. And you want it when problem come. Uh -huh. You understand? Not uh -huh. necessarily it's a problem I go come now. When problem come now, she say, yo, I never you, I never she force you. You decide, say, yeah, you want to do that. It's wrong. It's madness. So, the topic there is a good topic. But I don't know. We're supposed to even play it right now and I listen to it back. And I hear the things that what she has said. For even have a more in depth in that. Because I don't understand. We have to go, um, continue that, that, that topic you want. You know, but yeah, that girl that, that girl that not really and truly still be. That girl, they just, I just think that girl, they're mad in her sense. Because them not together again. Are they, they still? Are. They're still married, I'm sure. They're still married? I think so, yeah. Okay. I think, I don't know though, I'm not certain. They don't look like them still married. I don't think them still together or something like that. I don't think so. Oh, okay. We should have behave and have behave like. You know, so her, her behavior, man, I should like say, so. no, we're not together and then. When a woman done with that man, it's come like she's scanning him, you fuck. Uh, hmm. I need, because I, I know I've seen them on Instagram before, so mm -hmm. I need to find their page and see if they're still together or not. Hey, yeah, do that research and call me back and make me know. No, because it's going to take too long. But point being is, mm -hmm. I don't think she's crazy. I think she thinks like most women. That's what I'm saying to you. That's why I said she thinks like I most like, women. Yeah, because I thought to myself, oh, this is perfect. This is the reason why men and women go wrong. Because a woman will ask for something. 
And then a man thinks that, based on the fact that she's asking for it, that he has to give it, but he doesn't. Just like the woman is going into the partnership asking what she wants, the man is supposed to do the same thing. But I think men don't do that. They just go into a relationship and give the woman what the woman wants and then get vexed when maybe the woman changes her mind or, or I don't know, when things don't work out yeah. because what yeah. he's done is he's now changed his whole life to fit what she wants when it wasn't even what he wanted. But in at the end of the day, and I say him not want it in you know, but true, he might try to please her in a sense, cause they must say you have to try and please your woman, you know. I please him, I try to please him, woman, you know. You see him go out of the way and I try to do everything for her, for try to keep her, but you can't keep her. No care what you do now, no, no, no care what you do for your woman, no. When she ready, she just ready. I think based on everything you're saying, I don't know how. <laughs> you see the future, like, because the way you talk, I don't know, I think you're just blocked, not blocked, but I think you just have your mind made up about what what things are like, do you know what I'm saying? You have to make up, but then, then you have to just know and have a reality <laughs> of things, you know, or it's set, you know. And this is the thing now, a man can't go there and force a woman to come over to fame side. And a woman can't go there over there so and force a man to come over to fear side. Right. So how it's going to work? Right. How it's going to work now? Because if, if it's not a force over one side and it's not a force over upon the other side, how it's going to work? A meeting in the middle. And if I mean, you now want it, um, and the next man person now want it, oh, it's going to work. Because the man, and most of the time, and... most of the time, you know, the man want the fucking woman, you know. Yeah, but that's what I think the problem is. That because you want the woman, you're trying to make everything fit around this. But it's, maybe that person's just not for you. But because you're attracted to her, because you love her, because you want to make this person fit into a square box when it's a triangle. Mm-hmm. So you're trying to make something fit that just don't fit. Or you're trying to carve it up, smooth down the edges, make it slot into this space that it's not supposed to slot into. It wasn't for that. And I think that's the problem with people in relationships now. They're, they're trying to make their partner fit into a model of what they have instead of just... Because that's not really what love is either. Love isn't... Love isn't... Um, based on, oh, I love you if you do this for me, or if you if you fit this criteria. Like, I should just love you whatever. I should just love you for you, innit? Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be, oh, if you're doing what, what I want you to do, yeah? Mm. But if you get into a partnership now where it's a marriage, then it has to be a meeting in the middle. And I think this is where men go wrong. They don't say what they actually want. It's the women that are demanding what they want and then the men are going along with it and then getting hurt by the women because basically then you're living a life where you're dancing to someone else's drum. You're, you're, dan you're not dancing to your own beat. You're not dancing to what you want to do. You're doing what somebody else wants you to do. And that is an appetite for disaster. But all you forgot to tell your woman now where you live with, say you want four and five women. Tell her that from the beginning. Yeah. Tell her that from the beginning. And that's why it's important. That's why I say you have to know yourself before you get into a relationship because people are trying to understand other people. These times they don't even know themselves. Mm -hmm. So it shouldn't be that you spend three, four years with the person living in the house, you and them just together, and then you suddenly decide, oh, no, do you know what? I actually want to feel. You should know that going into the relationship, what you want your life to look like. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, I want... because. There's plenty of men who have more than one woman. There's even this picture that keeps on going around Facebook. I can't remember what his name is. I think his name's Kevin something, but I can't remember his surname. And then you see him hugging up on both of his wives. Both of his wives kissing him. And everyone's in uproar about this picture. And I'm just like, why? If they're all happy, they're all up front. So where is this? In England? I think it's in America. 
But mm. I'm sure there's, I'm sure I'm um, positive there's people in England that act like that, or there's even people that know that their partner is missing out on them, but they're happy like to just ignore it. What kind of, what kind of rubbish is that? Like, uh, you do what you do, I do what I do, but as long as we both pretend like we don't know what we're doing and we don't put in each other's face, cool. What the fuck? Why not just live life honest? If you're both doing your thing, if you both know it, then just talk about it and just be like, yeah, so everyone knows what it is. Mm-hmm. And then people can move, I think, better, move wiser. So then if you've got another woman, let's say, um, and like you're sleeping obviously with two women and you have a slip and maybe the, maybe the other woman may be pregnant or whatever, whatever. You can have that conversation with your wife, with the other woman and be like, yo, this is what's happened. Da, 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 da. And then everyone can make a decision. But it's when people lie and they cheat or they don't live according to their true self. They're hiding parts of their self. That's when things are always bound to go wrong. If you're pretending to be a one-man woman just because that's what your woman wants to hear, it's fuckery. Because there's loads of women that will be with you even if you're with other women. Mm. So I just don't think there's any need to lie. Then, no, the, the, and the, the, then suppose him, him woman who I'm there with now, yeah? Him can't mm-hmm. tell her say him have a woman out there. Because if him tell her say him have a woman... Then she's not the one. Let her go. Him, she, she, him tell her say, yo, she, she not want him because him have a next yeah, woman Yeah, let her room. go. Yeah, let her go. She's not for you. Let her go. She's not for you. You see what I'm saying? People are struggling to hold on to things that just aren't for them. Because there's going to be someone out there that's willing to put up with that. Happy even. And I think if more men were telling women, no, I can't do this one, one woman thing, then over the space of 50 years, women would come round to the thinking that no man is doing this one woman thing but if for 50 years 100 years the men are lying and saying yeah yeah we can do this we can do this <laughs> fooling the women that they can do it when it's not when it's not real you know what i mean it's not they can't actually do it then what that means is that then women start to think oh there are there are there are some men out there that are going to be loyal do what with one one woman when when that could be fuckery because all men could just be lying just to keep the woman happy but if all the men were to just tell the truth and say no nah, we all do this then women would have to change the way that they act mm. and i think that's the problem that women are very much okay with telling the man exactly how they want the relationship to be but men don't do that but a, a, a woman will come and tell us that they want the relationship to be like this and then on the opposite side she'll live a different life as well. So the woman them do it and then the man them do it as well. So boy, yeah, it's kinda true. mix up be. It's a mad debate this, you know. It's a mad mad debate. It's a serious. Uh-huh. But I think it's a good one, eh? Because I think this is where a lot of people go wrong. It's like, hold on. You still hear me? Mm-hmm, I hear you. Oh, so I'm going through a tunnel. So it's like, if you're applying for a job, yeah, and the job says, this is the criteria, we need you to be able to fix lights, drive the van, da 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 Mm-hmm. But you lie on the CV and say you can do these things that you can't do. That job won't for you, Regin. <laughs> Leave it there. Let the next man who's qualified for that one get the job. But suppose you're hungry and want something for do, and you have hungry belly pit in your yard for feed. Yeah, okay. You so have then to you take have to a go chance. into it. Cool. Yeah, yeah. You have to take a chance and go into it. It's like anything. It's like it's like a man and a woman now. A woman says she wants that, you know. A man take a chance and go in it, you know, and wish for the best, you know. You know, and wish for the worst, you know. You know, you know, want the woman to change for him. But the woman do change for him after a certain while. So this the man them wonder to themselves. Mm-hmm. 
You understand? So it's uh, half of the time the man them do go in a hundred percent and try to get the best out of a woman. But why I mean I understand. But I think they go into it trying to be what the woman wants well, uh, rather than just that being themselves. That him do, and that yeah, every but man that's do it. poison. You can't do you can't go against your own DNA. What is that? You have to you have to be yourself in life. You have to do what is true to you. You can't live life according to somebody else's agenda. Mm-hmm. So that's the reason the woman trying to be what the man wants or the man trying to be what the... Don't get me wrong. You, you can you can make adjustments to yourself. You know, if, like, the person says maybe be a little bit more... I don't, I don't know, like, small things that are, like... You have to try. You have to try if you no know gauge with the person. Be don't tell me. Yeah, you, 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 to you, yeah, you have to. You have to try to and make other... small amendments to like come to a middle ground. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, it shouldn't be too far away from who you are. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It should just be small little amendments, and those small little adjustments should actually be better in you they should make you feel better they should make you feel good you shouldn't feel like oh i've got to do this and then feel some type of way because she wants me to do it if you're doing something it should make you feel better like you're growing or learning mm -hmm. but if you're constantly trying to like shave down this edge sand down that edge fit into this box and then that's why in the end the woman's just like oh no the woman realized it don't, it don't fit it never did fit <laughs> it mm. never did but you try to sand down edges and cut down this and do that to make it fit but it never ever did fit so when the woman now gets to the point where she's like wow oh, i thought i could sand down this edge and i thought i but now it don't even fill the box because I cut it down so much, it don't even fill the box I need it to fill. Mm -hmm. She's now going to say, do you know what, this ain't working out. And then the man's going to be vexed and be like, you know what, woman is fuckering. And I feel like that's what's been happening over time. But half of the time she's willing to work with the box then and then after that then she don't want to work yeah, with the box again. Foolish, foolish. This is why I say to you I never get into a relationship where I need to change a man. I just want him to, whatever he is, it should just fit me. I shouldn't be like, oh, you need to be more like this, you need to be more... No. Mm -hmm. Because that's fuckery. You're trying to get someone to fit into the model that you want just because... You want somebody beside you because you want to lay down with somebody at night time. Because you want a bit of cup. No. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what happens to people. They're holding on to things because they don't want to be alone. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's not good. <laughs> But who want to be alone? Nobody no want to be alone, man. Everybody want to have somebody there. Nobody no want to be alone. Yeah, so... But what I'm saying is, if people were, like, living to their true self, then people would learn and grow and adapt. Yeah. So... Yeah, 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 yeah. In you know sense. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, if a man is just, just go home and tell him, woman, say, man, four woman, or that he want. Uh -huh. Yeah, then then she could have. Yeah, but then she not go on hear that. Then go on hear that. No, she might not want to. But you know what? Another woman, but she probably won't want to hear that if she's known you to just be with her. That's what I'm saying. But if you meet her and the first day you meet her, you're saying this is what this is what I would Wait like. Let me just go on. Let me repeat that. Hmm. Meet you. You. Yeah, I'm uh, from uh, Yeah, me, yeah. Uh, 11 o'clock where I go, we're not time yet. Fuck you, I come from my phone like that. Yeah? Hmm, B. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. 
was I going to say? Um, yeah, so if, if she's known you to just be with her, then no, she's probably not going to want to hear that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But if you meet her and tell her that, then she's probably going to be more likely to listen to you. Mm. Like, if on the first day you meet her, you say, yo, I want four women, and then you meet her for a second day, you know that she knew that from the first day, she still came back the second day. She's open. Mm -hmm. Either that, or she's just a fool who thinks that she can change you into wanting one. You then have to be the type. Your phone are cut off now. You're like I got you some money. Yeah. All right. Actually, just wait. Slap. Slap mad back bush TV. Like and subscribe. We're still there. Go and chat about relationship. Man, like and subscribe with that. Up top. This is in the pretty moon. Politician in the look road, yeah. You them just a dead road, yeah. Mama wanna believe I road, yeah. Now go easy. They be sleep on the TV. It looks sleepy. This a world gone up in a smoke again No one not have the money, nothing good for spend Man a ball fit hungry once again Nobody not live good 